hard to face what we've done. Guilt seems to be the biggest burden when it comes to living as a human being. It eats away at us, never letting us forget. We can try to get over it, but some push their guilt so far down that when they come back up, they don't even know who they are. Jacob Singer is no one. Sometimes he's charming. You see this here that's split? Right here? It's a paper cut. Oh, and a sense of humor. <laughs> Other times he's hostile. I don't see any social worker. Sometimes he's faithful. I dream I was having. I was living with another woman. There were all these demons and I was on fire. God, what a nightmare. Guilty thoughts. Sometimes he delves into lust. How'd I ever get involved with such a fucking ninny? You sold your soul, remember? Yeah, for what? Good luck. Look what I got. The, the best. best. <laughs> Sometimes he knows what he's done, but most of the time he doesn't. Doesn't matter if he's a mailman. Uh, this is one of those days. Back is killing me, I'll go see Louie. Or PhD holder. How about the other right? I don't understand you philosophers. You got the whole world figured out, but you can't remember the difference between right and left. After now, I didn't want to think anymore. Any other brain but yours, I'd agree. Or a soldier. I found one. I think he's still alive. If he's living with his wife. What are you doing <laughs> up? Or another obstacle. Anybody in there? Anybody home? He simply cannot bear his burden. He's plagued by demons. I don't know who they are or what they are. They're going to get me, and I'm scared, Jake. I can't even go home. I don't know what to do. I've seen him, too. And sickness. Well, I'd love to see him, man, but I, I've been kind of laid up. I've been sick. And death. He puts the blame on others or creates scapegoats. Listen, Mr. Geary, this is very important to us. The army did something to us and we've got to find out what. Because he's dying. <laughs> the last bit of his consciousness, the last bit of his soul, can't handle the evil desires it feels or the pain and misery it's caused. I don't mind the gray skies. You'll make them blue. <laughs> I don't mind the gray sky. You'll make them blue. So he is haunted by what he can't deal with while fighting to make it okay to himself. Good. His memories and emotions are going wild, grasping at some truth or experience that can make it better. But every time he's seemingly about to die, he doesn't. His hell continues and worsens, becoming more confusing and incoherent. A lucky day. The demons and hardship keep coming back because his conscience is far from clear. I'm not dead. What are you then? I'm alive. Then what are you doing here? I don't know. Get me out of here. There is no out of here. You've been killed. Don't you remember? Guys, Jacob is operating at the bottom of his ladder. Ladder? Yeah, that's what they called it. A fast trip straight down the ladder, right to the primal fear, right to the base anger. I'm telling you, man, it was powerful. If the drug angle in the end is false or not, this description is exactly what he's in, the worst parts of his humanity. His thoughts and emotions are filtered through it. Because he can't accept the evil he desires, or the broken relationships. Jacob, I still love you. Whatever that's worth. Dream on. Or the horrors of war, drugs or otherwise. But most importantly, that he could have stopped the accident that took the life of his son.
Jacob's struggle is not his alone. We all have things that we aren't equipped or prepared to face. We all have something we bury deep, deep down. From the moment he was stabbed, Jacob had to face his, and he eventually did. He's gone. He looks kind of peaceful, the guy. His consciousness fought for life until his demons turned to angels. And because he succeeded, he climbed his ladder with peace. Thank you. Eckhart saw hell, too. He said the only thing that burns in hell is the part of you that won't let go of your life. But they're not punishing you, he said. They're freeing your soul. So the way he sees it, if you're frightened of dying and, and you're holding on, you'll see devils tearing your life away. But if you've made your peace, then the devils are really angels freeing you from the earth.